Pablo Escobar House Tour $10 Million Mansion Have you ever wondered how much money does a terrorist make? And what do they do with all that money? What lifestyle do they own with all the money? Hey guys, welcome back to Famous Estate, where we talk about the incredible facts about the world of fame. Today, we will talk about the very well-known house tour of Pablo Escobar, a Colombian terrorist. He is not only famous for doing all the illegal activities, but also for the unbelievably lavish lifestyle. In today's video, you will get to know his $10 million mansions, other properties, his history, and if you can personally take a tour of his mansion. So, let's start. Pablo's $10 million mansion and other property. One of Pablo's multiple main houses was in Medellin, Colombia. It was the region where he grew up. This huge and extraordinary mansion has since become wrecked, and yet people didn't stop wanting to visit El Patron's real estate. Quite amazingly, Pablo's place has been converted into a paintball venue. Here comes the fun part. You can have a tour around his house, or the ruins of his house, we might say. You can visit the apartment where he hid his family, and even Pablo Escobar's jail called La Catedral, which he built for himself. His La Catedral had a casino, a nightclub, and a spa. His ruined mansion at the time of construction cost $10 million. The renovation, furniture, and other luxury items are all aside from this $10 million. Escobar didn't own only one property and all of his homes were much of a piece of art in themselves. So we will do justice and let you have an insight into all of his houses. It is quite hard to get to Escobar's luxury home in Guadalupe. The Manila Hacienda is now a ruin but was once the safe house for Escobar's family. It was built at the height of his influence too. Escobar had a taste for money, and he made a hell of a lot of it in his lifetime. This estate is a testament to the sheer magnitude of his wealth. Spanning 20 acres, La Manila once consisted of a lavish mansion surrounded by swimming pools, numerous tennis courts, an extensive garage packed with expensive cars, various helipads, and a submarine port. Escobar had each wall of the house double-layered and reinforced with steel to serve as protection from gunfire. Also, as a place to conceal cocaine, weapons, and other illegal stuff. Every room would have featured all manner of hiding places and secret passages for the very obvious reasons. In 1993, Los Pepes, a vigilante group who took a stand for the people persecuted by Pablo Escobar, bombed Escobar's property, targeting him and his family and decimating it in one fell swoop after managing to jam 200 kg of TNT into the bathroom pipes of the house. With the estate in ruins, the police swooped in and seized the mountains of cocaine and money that had once been concealed within the walls. Eight months later, Escobar would be fatally shot from the rooftop of his Medellin hideout while attempting an escape. Do you know what else Pablo Escobar had with $10 million? A bounty on his head. Although his $10 million was full of extraordinarily expensive things, most of them were ruined and not much information was leaked to the general audience. Now, the question is if you can visit Pablo's house, should you or not? Should you take Escobar's house tour? By should, we mean if it is ethical or not to take the tour, and the rest depends on you. If we see from the perspective of the natives, they won't like you to take the tour for so many valid reasons, such as the whole terrorist thing. Many Colombians still have memories of the bloodshed, bombs, and violence. This history is very heart-wrenching, and there are many open wounds till date. Tourists coming here almost solely to take the Medellin Pablo Escobar tour are only rubbing salt in that wound as it was nothing amusing for the native but a nightmare. He bombed airplanes, he assassinated politicians, journalists, police, and anyone who opposed him, including innocent common people. You're benefiting him indirectly. The most popular Medellin Pablo Escobar tour includes a visit with Roberto Escobar, Pablo's brother, someone who was complicit and wanted for his role in the criminal activities. He also had a bounty of $10 million on his head, and he served time in prison. At the end of this tour, tourists get the chance to have coffee with him, take big smiley selfies and ask inane questions in broken Spanish about life back in the day with Pablo and all their criminal misadventures. The bad history. No doubt learning the history and visiting all the sites related to Pablo is educational because it is part of Colombia's history, even if it's a bad thing. One person said,
Do you think people should stop visiting Auschwitz too because people try to make money on bad things that happen there? But a Pablo Escobar tour is not like an Auschwitz tour. It is true that there are some Colombians who idolize him for all the wrong reasons. The poor and uneducated and their offspring who directly benefited thanks to him buying their loyalty with houses or other material goods, the majority of Colombians hate the man and everything he represents. He left so much destruction in his wake and almost single-handedly destroyed the reputation of an entire country, even today, almost 25 years after his death. Think about your city, state, or country and try to recall the worst and most painful possible memory that has occurred there in recent years and having that be the only thing it is internationally known for, and then having tourists come from far away to pay money to seemingly celebrate that painful tragedy. Yeah, definitely terrible. For Americans, the closest sort of equivalent I can think of would be organized for-profit tours for rich Saudis or other Arabs to come to New York City to learn all about the 9-11 attacks, visit the sites, and seemingly celebrate the mastermind behind them. After all, Pablo is believed to be responsible for the deaths of at least 5,000 people, about the same as 9-11. You've got people militantly opposed to doing elephant tours in Thailand or swimming with dolphins, yet have no qualms about doing a Menelin Pablo Escobar tour which involves real human suffering that is felt to this day. His useless finance. First of all, the wealth of Pablo is nothing appreciated due to the sources of earning or snatching. Second, he had a lot of money that was even hard for him to handle and use. He had several cars, private jets, helicopters, and all from the most expensive brands. To have a rough idea of his wealth, let us tell you that he used to spend $1,000 per month only on the rubber bands used for binding his money. Also, the money was too much that they had to bury it and sometimes put it in the roof room where it would be eaten by rats. To our surprise, $2.1 billion was eaten by the rats on purpose. This was all for today. Let us know in the comments how you feel about Pablo Escobar's lavish $10 million mansion and the history related to it. Also, is it fine for you to tour his house? Like and share if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for further amazing content. Till the very next video, stay safe.